Hello, welcome to Optica University. I will introduce you today to how to handle errors in web methods. We will be using version 9.7. We will start by opening the designer and creating a new empty flow service. If you need to know how to do this, you can check our first video, How to build a service. Now I will show you how to write a try and catch block and also a finally block. Before we start, make sure that you are in the service development perspective. This is by going to window, open perspective, other, and you will find it in the list. We will need also the development palette. This is by going to window, show view, other, and you will find it in the general palette. This is to be used in our development. Before we create our try and catch block, we will need to create the main block. This is by using the sequence. A sequence is a grouping of steps that can exit on a certain condition. For the main, we will need the main to exit on success. To do so, you can go to properties and make exit on success. To make our code readable, we will write in the commands main to show that this is our main. If you can't get the properties tab, you can always go to window, show view, properties. Now we're going to create our try block. This is also by using a sequence. We will go back to the palette. Drag another sequence into the main because the main is going to wrap our try and catch block just like normal development. For this try, we will want it to exit on failure. This is the default value of the exit. So we we'll only need to write in the comment try. So now, by making the try exit on failure, the code will be executed in the try and in case of error, it will exit the try block to go into the catch block. Now we need to add our catch block. This is also by adding another sequence into our main. We will drag the sequence into the main and write in the command in the properties catch. For the catch block, we will need it to exit on done. The exit undone means that you are telling the IS that you want to exit the catch block only when all the statements inside are executed. Now we have our main and our try and our catch ready. For the final block, if you need to add it, you can always add it under the main. Any step under the main will be considered the final block. It's up to you whether you want to wrap your final block in a sequence or not. For our example, I will add the clear pipeline service as a final statement for my service. This is by going to the WM public flow clear pipeline. I will drag it under my main. This is what will present our final block. Now to show you a successful execution of the try block, I will go back to my try and add an empty map. This is only to show you a successful execution of the try. For the catch block, we always add the get last error service. You will find it in the WM public package flow folder. The service shows you the details of the error if it happened in the runtime. Now we are ready to see the behavior in case of a successful execution of the try. We will debug our service. So I'll go to the debug. You can see here the main. You can press on F6 to move the debug. Try block. Our map, which is empty. So we are not supposed to execute the catch in this case because there are no errors. We didn't and we went to our final block. We press stop and go back to our service development. 
So as we saw, in the case of successful execution of the try, the catch block wasn't executed and our finally block was executed which is the clear pipeline service. Now I will show you an example of a failure in the try block to see how the IS is going to execute the catch block. To raise an error in the try block, I will go to the service git hash table in the WM public package hash table folder, get. This is only because I know without inputs this service is going to cause an error in the try. And we will save our service and go to the debug. As you can see, the main, we press F6, we go to our try block, our empty map, it goes well, we go to the service get which is without inputs, so it's supposed to cause an error. We went to other catch because there is an error in the try. Get last error, you can see here in the variable tab, the error that happened, missing parameter hash table. So as you can see, the catch block was executed and now we are in the finally block which cleaves the pipeline. This is all for this video. Thank you so much for your time. For similar videos and more information, please visit our website, optica.com.